Hello and welcome to Sena's Network Insights. My name is JP Sahib and I am Director for Sales Engineering. I have here with me James Glover, who is the Director for Product Line Management for Sena's Packet Portfolio and is responsible for Sena's IP strategy. I think I have to say that the India market uh, is unique with, with its own set of challenges. You need to truly understand this market and deliver specific solutions that meet performance requirements by service providers here. We've delivered solutions for fiber fluctuation issues, signal degrade challenges, signal bypass on power shutdown, etc., which are unique to the India market. So let's talk about what are the key challenges that you see coming uh, up next for us. In the last one year, the data traffic for India has seen a steep rise. Mobile data traffic per active smartphone is predicted to rise to 15 GB per month, and the aggregated India mobile traffic is expected to grow by 12 exabytes by 2024, which is a four-fold increase over 2018. The percentage of 4G phones is also likely to increase steeply to 81% by 2024. If we add the fixed broadband growth over the same period, I believe that by 2024, the traffic will increase by about eight folds over 2018. Massive growth in data center and decentralization of content is another key trend. When we combine all these factors, the following clear picture emerges. Number one, the edge will see massive data growth, which is eight to 10 times over the next five years. The data centers and the computing will move towards edge. The telecom service providers will have multiple challenges. And the top ones are, number one, continuously optimize and regroom the data traffic over the next five years, adding new aggregation locations as new data centers are added and the content and applications move further out without causing much disruption or degradation to service while delivering lower capex and opex in the process. JP, the trends you've talked about are very consistent with what we've come across globally. Though the volumes and the infrastructure challenges are somewhat unique to India, there is a growth trend that is pushing applications further out. This results in a shift in traffic patterns across the network and the need to be able to adapt to those patterns while maintaining an OPEX profile that is sustainable. Looking at subscriber volumes and the geographic distribution and the population densities of India, I believe the first step would be to distribute content out to about 80 to 100 locations in the country. With that, you should be able to serve a sizable percentage of the urban population. When content moves out further towards the edge, does that open up new opportunities for the service providers? If so, how can they leverage this opportunity? Well, the Telco Edge will be the new battleground for Indian Telecom. It can be quite challenging to have Greenfield build out to so many different data centers across a vast nation. The incumbent Telcos have an opportunity to provide regional data center using uh, their existing central office footprint. This means uh, that there's a chance to add more value in the process by getting more involved in the decentralization of compute and storage re resources across uh, a regional level. I think this is interesting because what you have identified is that we need to take a holistic view of the network. We need to look into new ways to amplify the benefits of this transformation in the network overall. Can we find new ways to automate configuration and service activation on the infrastructure so that we can reduce time to market? I believe evolving the edge is going to be tough. Please consider the following challenges. Number one, the operators are currently using rings in the last mile with shared 10G or N cross 10G as line capacity. As the capacity grows 10 times, they will clearly fall short of fiber. Creating of new aggregation locations for edge compute, edge cloud, edge content will also force them to upgrade all nodes to probably 100G rings. As shared 100G rings will also fall short, they will need to add more parallel rings or split the rings, creating additional constraints. Laying fiber in India is extremely tough and costly. Please help us understand what is the best way to evolve. With the right architecture and technology, service providers can end up as winners. The operators need to consider the following five pillars. 
First, potential for creating virtual fibers using an adaptive optical underlay. Next, disaggregation of network capacity uh, from site capacity or node capacity. Next, compact and temperature hardened products. Then there's flexibility of rerouting traffic and rehoming the traffic on demand. And finally, seamless integration with automated platforms and centralized control. Sienna's Adaptive IP is the solution that considers all of the above. Can you please share some more details of Sienna Adaptive IP with us? So our goal in Adaptive IP is to incorporate network functions to enable higher scale to design, deploy, and manage IP networks. What we have is a layer three oriented network architecture that starts with a holistic end-to-end -end mindset and embraces simpler SDN friendly approaches that align to emerging concepts of a programmable network that reduces the number of legacy protocols and simplifies control plane signaling in the network. With adaptive IP, operators can solve contemporary pressures like those coming from skyrocketing mobile video and data center, while also preparing for the era of 5G, IoT, and related applications such as smart cities, all of which drive a more demanding combination of fixed and mobile traffic. Keep watching this space for more details on Sienna's Adaptive IP.